What's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman, guys. Today, I got the twin troller tied up on the back of the truck and we are going to fish at a new location that I've never fished before. I actually got invited out by a subscriber whose name is Robert that y'all will meet in a few minutes. But, uh, Robert invited me out here and supposedly this is like this pond that this old lady owns and it's really never fished and supposedly there are some giants in there. He sent me some pictures and I'm pretty excited to get out of there. He actually went by there yesterday to make sure it was okay if I could bring my twin troller and he said he saw like a big old bass on bed probably like seven or eight pounds and that is just crazy especially right now because the vast majority of these fish are definitely in a full post-spawn mood and I actually don't think I've seen a fish on bed in like the last two weeks and it's definitely even crazier because almost always the big fish move up first so you never know what's gonna go on out here today I'm actually pretty excited but this pond is just covered in pads covered in all kinds of vegetation so we're definitely gonna be able to do some awesome top water fishing today go to pop out that frog and hopefully get a sick blow up or two but besides that guys I also am going to surprise Robert with this guy right here I don't know how well y'all can see this but that is a mock smash combo and I just wanted to kind of do that as a token of appreciation for inviting me out to fish but I also want to do a giveaway for y'all as well well, I'm going to be giving away another reel so if you want a chance at winning that just drop a comment down below Letting me know who your favorite fishing youtuber is actually let me know who your top three fishing youtubers are You don't have to say me. I'm not gonna be offended I'm not gonna pick someone just because they picked me as their number one I can promise you that I'm just gonna pick a random comment So just be honest and let me know who your top three fishing youtubers are But anyways guys it is time to hit the road time to launch the twin troller and let's get after it and hopefully catch us a big one Pulling up to Robert's place right now. I'm pumped to surprise him with his rod. There he is. Oh, he's hyped. <laughs> What's going on, man? How's it going, brother? Oh, what so excited. Dude, yeah. Let's get after it, man. Is this too many rods? Oh, no. You bring them all, man. Bring them all. Also got you a little bit of surprise. He's so excited. This is going to be awesome. Here you go, brother. Are you serious? All for you, man. Put her to good use. <laughs> hey, have we catch your PB on it? <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna freak. I can't believe you're here. Hey, dude, we're gonna get after it. I can't believe 26, too. I thought you were like 30 something. <laughs> really? Yeah, I thought you were like 30 at least. I guess cool maybe it's the facial hair. Yeah, dude, this thing is bad. So I, I love this thing right, to death. You said there's little things in the. Yeah, take a look. Now that is freaking awesome. Yeah. I see why you can go over pads now. Yeah. And each one of those controls the side. Mm-hmm. So you know, there's one on that side, one on this side. So if you you oh, do this, and if you do that, it'll spin in a circle. Yeah. So it's a badass little fishing rig. <laughs> All right, let's get after it. <laughs> Freak out. Well, I scooped up Robert, and we are now on the way to the pond. You got any words for the audience, man? Freaking out a little bit. I'm <laughs> Dude, I'm excited for these bass that we're about to catch. I mean, you told they me it's the juice. Frog pretty good. Heck yeah, man. That's what I'm freaking pumped for. I've been trying to get on a nice frog and bite recently, and just haven't been able to get the job done. Caught a few on it uh, the other day when I was with Adam and the, yeah. and the slab guys, but not enough to make a video. So I'm excited to get out here. I know I am. Oh. Well, we made it, guys. It is time to launch the boat. And, oh, it's a little, <laughs> it's a little shallow. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right, we're off. As promised, guys, this pond is absolutely covered with pads. As you can tell, it goes all the way down this whole side. So there's only one way to start, and that's with the frog. We're gonna kind of get started in this corner and just kind of work our way down this whole pad line and just see what's lurking in this stuff. Okay, you are brave. Oh, you can go in there. Don't be afraid to cast today, man. <laughs> Especially with the frog, dude. This thing never gets snagged. Unless it's my face, of course. Because <laughs> I picked up the frog and showed him what one of the hooks looked like, and then he said, I can feel it through my cheek with my tongue. And he <laughs> so who do you watch the, uh, the most? You don't have to say me. <laughs> 
I like you. Probably tack. I brought the tactical basket more than anybody. There we go. Got him. First fish of the day. Oh, it's a decent one too. Not, not a not a bad way to start. Fat, healthy. They're, they're all pretty healthy in here. There's so many crappy and minnows, man. Heck yeah. She smacked it. Didn't take long. Right up under that little brush. Stick her right back on in. First of many. Right, let's, let's get back in there. Oh, I'm stuck on that stupid stick. Can we get a dangler? Oh, did you see that? Something just came off the bank. Yeah. See oh, it? Yep, yep. Oh, that's a snake or turtle, I see it. Oh, what is that? That's a snake, but I reel it in. Is that a snake? Yeah, that was a snake. I couldn't tell if it was a... Uh... I seen him in my glasses. I seen him strike at it. His head was out of the water. <laughs> that was a little weird. I don't think I've ever seen it. Oh, it might have been... Never mind. It might have been a frog. I was going to say, are there bullfrogs up here? I did catch a bullfrog on the frog the other day. Okay, that's frog. what I was going to ask. I was like, it looks... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he catches a lot of bass, but he catches a lot of catfish, too. There we go. Fish number two. That one came out of the actual pads like I promised y'all. We actually started on that other side, uh, just in this corner, just to work it while we we're here. But now we're officially into the pads. Oh, nice little double up, old dinker. Yeah, little baby. We're gonna find the big ones though, so I'm telling y'all. We're gonna find some big old mamas. Is a uh, frog what you primarily throw in here? I throw the frog and this little swim bait, sometimes a jig, I love a jig. That's probably my absolute favorite lure besides the lift. That and lift, I love it. Mm-hmm. Let your throw over there. I just scared a giant. Did you? Yeah. Oh. Where at? Right there. About two foot off this piece of wood right here. Behind it or in front of it? Right here beside it. It was right here beside it. And it shot off to the left. Yeah, she got spooked. She might not eat. Yeah, I'm probably scared of hitting her in the head with it. So the thing with like spawning fish mm -hmm. is uh, they actually need sunlight to fertilize the eggs so that the, they will not spawn underneath this pad they won't be under the pad uh -uh. they're gonna be out in the open yeah so they'll they might spawn in the pads but they're gonna be in one of these open on the openings or the edges that's where they're gonna be oh, okay i thought they could spawn anywhere under here so they mm -hmm. have to have sunlight yep they have to have sunlight you got one decent one little, little. You lot more chills than I thought you did. <laughs> yeah. Y'all you see people on YouTube and everything and you always think they're stuck up or something. There are some people like that. <laughs> Let me I'm, tell you. I'm sure there are. <laughs> I bet my fair share. <laughs> Not going to name names, but. <laughs> that, well, those one guy's got, what is it? Slab Dynasty guys. Yeah. Those are the guys seem cool. Yeah, they're really cool. Okay, I like, I like, cool. I like the Slab Dynasty guys a lot. Yeah, that fish waked on it hard too from the right. I think that was a better one. I set that hook a little early. Dang, because I saw like when it hit the water, I popped it twice and there was like a hard wake on the right. And I just saw him, he spun around uh -huh. and he came up and hit it like two or three seconds later. Mm. Oh, that's the worst when you're anticipating it and you still miss it. Gonna put the frog down for a second, guys. Switch gears to something else just for a minute. See if we can't get something in this stuff. It definitely seems like there's some fish swimming around this stuff, but they do not want to come up for the frog. Yeah, just bubble gum. There we go got one finally there we go that uh breaks a, a long streak of nothing we started out with that frog and they were just munching right away robber over here he caught a few on a, like a little paddle tail i think um running across the middle and that like all happened in, like the first 30 minutes and we just were on them and then they just stopped biting for like the last hour or so hour and a half i mean it, they've come few and far between but hopefully that's the start of something good going back to the frog let's sling this sucker up in this stuff see what's hanging out first cast in the tree solid blow up right there 
see him trying? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a tiny one. But he might hit it again now. Now I got a hole there for him to. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> he is so mad. Oh, wow. Come on, hit it. Hit it. <laughs> Dude, he is fired up. Hey, he was. Are you just hitting random things now? Yeah, he's just hitting whatever he can. Come here, little dude. That's something there. I like let, me, it. Let, me, let me help you out real quick. There we go. Got him, finally. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, no, he came off. <laughs> oh, my God. That was ridiculous. Now, nah, he's probably about a pound, but <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Dude, he was just going to town on those pads. And he just kept hitting random things too. There wasn't like anything crawling on the surface. He was just whacking at it for fun. They're getting a little bit more active. I'm, I'm hearing more stuff. Yeah, I'm hearing them pop up on the pads a little bit more. Do you usually catch them good on this island? I usually do, yes sir. Oh, there's a Oh, God, that was a better one too. He waked the second it hit too. He... Oh. Dang. Dude, that second it hit, he just spun around. I, I knew it was coming. I sent the hook too early. It's like that all the way around the plane. Gosh, dang. Man. I seen it, took it and run straight that way. Yeah. That is crazy. Come on now. Oh, my hook got stuck in the frog. That's what it was. Oh. Well guys, I think I'm gonna switch things up here a little bit, switching over to a lipless crankbait. We fished the whole pond, like all the way around the edge, all the pads and all that stuff, and had some luck here and there. Didn't really, you know, destroy them, a few fish, but we think that because yesterday we had this huge storm come through, it just dumped like super heavy that that might have thrown these fish off a little bit and just kind of made them a little funky today. Also, it's still kind of that post spawn period. Uh, was that? I literally just had a fish. <laughs> oh no, it was a pad <laughs> limb. But um, but yeah, guys, we uh, we think they're just a little funky. So we're gonna try something just a tad bit different. Fish out in the middle a little bit, see if we can't spice things up like that. Oh my, holy smokes. Wow. There's just a new lay down, bro. Yeah, y'all got a new tree in your pond. Goodness gracious. Told y'all we had a big storm yesterday. <laughs> that, that tree must have got weakened. Yeah, I guarantee it. Let's jack that fish out of the water. There's one. Got him. Oh, finally. <laughs> God, I've been on a spree of not much going on. Got him on the crawl, tossed it up there, and she swallowed it pretty dang good. Got it out, munched that little rage crawl, had that thing right up there on the edge of the pads up against the bank. She was sitting right there, waiting for something to come her way. Thanks for the bite, lady. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get a chance at a big bass today, but that is okay. These fish are just really just in a funk right now, like I said, guys, from this weird weather and this post-spawn period. But I definitely wanna come back in like two weeks and fish with Robert again and see if these fish are in a different mood and hopefully we can catch us a big one. But anyways, guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. But as always, fasten is passion. Peace out.